What's going on guys? This is Waylon Martin with ViveBuilding.News. Today we're doing a little experiment, trying to do an interview. Uh, going to add this to possibly one of our new segments on here. Uh, I'm with IFB professional bodybuilder, Marte Ruelas. What's up, guys, out there in cyberspace or wherever you are in your cell phones, computers, whatever. Marte, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How old are you? Where were you born? Where are you located now? Um, uh, uh, yeah, let's just start off with the basics right there. Okay, I'm 34. I'm uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm, I'm one of these many thousands of pros out here that are aspiring to try to do something with themselves, I guess, you know? And so what gym do you, what gyms, I guess, uh, do you train out of up in Phoenix? You know what? I'm, I'm dispersed everywhere. I, I'm only mostly mainly at Metroflex. Mm -hmm. um, it's like five miles down from my house, so I, I go there mainly. But I visit everywhere, all across Phoenix. I don't discriminate. And how long have you lived in the Phoenix area? How long have I lived here? I've lived here all my life. I travel frequently, but this is my own. Oh, Born cool. and raised here. How long have you been training? How long have I been training? Seriously, oh, seriously training. Oh, okay, it's not counting like high school shit. Not man. counting, you know, like the when you actually were starting to make real gains and not on accident. We're talking like fucking like seven years ago I was training. Um, that's that's when I really took it serious. Shit, matter of fact, I, I would say maybe like four years ago if you really want to come. I was, I was bullshitting my first time I started getting ready. I wasn't even really training mm -hmm. that serious. Matter of fact, I didn't even start doing cardio before a show up until like freaking three three years ago. That like that time when I did like nationals and the USA's and all that shit three years ago. That was the first time I ever did cardio before a show. Never did cardio before then. When was your first time competing though? When was your first contest? My first time competing one of these contests was it was a Miles Niesel show back in the day. It was the, the the MC was Lonnie Teeper, and that's actually where I got my name from. Who gave me my name was Lonnie Teeper, too. How did you get into bodybuilding? What made you, like, interested in bodybuilding, and how did you get into your first competition? Like, what made you decide to do that process? Um, what made me decide to do that bodybuilding show or do bodybuilding period, I, I didn't want anything to do with bodybuilding, actually, believe it or not, when I first started doing stuff. I was in wrestling and track and uh, all I did was run like five miles a day, 10 miles sometimes because I was used to cross country and I was in the gym and this big chick and she'd harass me every time I'm in the gym saying, hey, I think you should do this bodybuilding thing. And every time I got in the gym, she was like, I'm not going to stop fucking with you until you get on stage. You got good abs, you got a good physique or something. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, what are you talking about? So I, I went to the gym and it, it's almost like she had the GPS. Every time I was there, she was there. My training partner was like, I think you should do that. And really, that's another reason why I didn't want to do that, because I didn't want to wear a thong. And um, yeah, and then I thought for a minute, and I was like, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger played Conan, and he did that shit. And I was rationalizing. Did my first show, won my, won my first show I ever did as a Bantamweight, took second overall. Mm -hmm. And after that, the rest is history. I never saw the chick again, too. In 2013, what contest did you do, and what did you place those contests? Okay, 2013, I did the uh, NPC West Coast Classic. I won my weight class, took second overall. Um, after that, I took third at USA's. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I won my pro card at Nats. Like, I, I understand where all the legends in our sport and all those people that have been there came, came before and did this shit. Like, you know, they just give them out and this and that. I never wanted to be one of those guys that they talked about. Like, I, yeah. I never wanted to do it. Like, we're, we're just nit really? we're nitpicking here, obviously, but we're also being yeah. as critical as possible because, you know, people are going to be hypercritical of things. So it's good to look at things objectively. How did you decide on your next contest and what was that process like? How did that end up going for you? Okay, the process of me um, starting my first contest, I wanted to take a shit ton of time off because mm -hmm. unless I'm, I'm, you know, the other giant killer from the East Coast or whatever, I can't, I'm not really going to make that much of a splash because that guy's got brown bellies and he's just got that look, you know, yeah. he, he's rare, yeah. you know, so um, like you've you got Davion, he could do some killer shit too. Yeah, he's pretty so good. So there's only a select few people who can really kill people at like a huge weight. So I decided to take 
take some time off and put some real size on and be realistic about my goals and take, but I never really had a good real off season. I think you and me really talked about that. Yeah. Um, but at least I knew, I knew for a fact, at least I, I knew I needed to take time off and, and I'm actually going to go here and say this. I, I never really knew a lot about gear. I, I still really don't. I, I need to get my ducks in order as far as like my education regarding that because I mean, I, I really didn't depend on it, even really turning pro like that. So now it's like I'm going into these waters and learning all this shit. Going into uh, going into the future, what are your plans going into the future? What are your, and what are your short-term goals? What are your long-term goals? My long-term goal is to be alive. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Same right now. Yeah. I want to. I want to be alive, and I want to. And I want at least. Um, be healthy and have that kind of wealth because I'm not trying to have a colostomy bag and everything like that. Exactly. I, I just had a wake up call at the uh, Europa when they told me my blood sugar was like 300. What was going on with your intestines at the time? What 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 issues were you having? What was the cause of that issue? Well, a, a lot of the causes that I had there there was a, a major thing that I was suffering from. It was high blood pressure, and the thing is, is you really don't know about this shit because you you don't. Like sometimes you'll get hand swelling and shit like that. It happens when you're engorged with a lot of a lot of fluids. Sometimes your blood pressure is raised. Mm -hmm. This is one of those things that's silent. You don't know that you have a high blood pressure, and there are things that happen as a result of that. And I think the fact that I had colitis it mm -hmm. um, further aggravated that issue and everything else. Colitis, you bleed, you have ulcers. So think about how much blood you're bleeding already, and then you have high blood pressure. It exasperates the issue. I think you know. And so what, what have you been doing to address that issue? And have you noticed any, like what changes have happened? Um, I have a, believe it or not, I have it right here. I got this blood pressure cuff and all this right here. So in the morning, what I do is I, I in the mornings I checked it and I, I still check it. My, my sodium has decreased from my diet. So, Perfect. and even though it's off season and I really hate cardio, I do that every morning and there are things that I do that I didn't do before, so I'm taking extra precautions. Those are things I'm doing. What's what's your general goal for competing? When do you want to compete? What time of year? How about that? Maybe not a specific show. Um, around July, I'm looking at I'm looking at uh competing around that time. So right now, everything's already started as far as uh my prep. But is there anyone you'd like to give a shout out to? Anyone you'd like to thank? Anyone that's been helpful so far with your prep, especially recently? Um, anything like that? Um, Lana's egg whites. She's she's cool as hell. She helps me out a whole lot. Cool. And um, bodybuilding news. Cool. Thank you very um, much, sir. If you like this interview and you want to see more content like it, be sure to go to our YouTube page and uh, subscribe and uh, give this a like as well. I'm Wayland Martin with 5billion.news.